Hi, it's Tate with T Quilts, and I'm here showing you a quilt by one of my YouTube subscribers. Her name is Dana, and she sent me her quilt all the way from New York so that I could quilt her quilt for her. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful millifori, I guess that's how you say it, style quilt. And it is just amazing. She used a lot of K facet type fabrics. But it is just gorgeous. And we are going to put some feathers over the top of this. So, should be interesting. She originally thought that she wanted to do a stippling but, or a meandering, but I think it deserves something a little bit more in a pattern and it should be beautiful. So I am going to go load the panto onto the machine, load the quilt, and hopefully I'll see you in another clip. Hey, it's T. And it has actually been a week since I last talked to you about my customer's quilt. I actually had put the quilt on the frame. We had selected to, uh, opted to use variegated thread in the top. And then I, I always use bottom line in the bottom. In the bobbin. So, I got the quilt on, did about three rows, and had some difficulty with tension. The, the tension wasn't consistent throughout. So, I took this quilt off of my frame. And Peggy helped me with one row and then I took like three rows of stitching out of this quilt so I just wanted to share that experience with you um, we think part of the problem because I check with some other long arm cultures as well and they seem to think that something is weird with the backing whenever I'm even when I put my seam ripper in it the cotton fibers like spread and they spread differently widths every time I do that and so they're thinking that when the needle is penetrating that it is something off with this particular backing fabric however this fabric was purchased from a online reputable quilt company and it says on the website that it's 100% cotton it kind of feel like it could be a cotton sateen but they're not saying that it's a cotton sateen but every time the needle or anything you try to pierce in certain areas you can see the actual fibers of the cotton opening up and so it was causing some problem with the heavier weight variegated thread so after so after talking with my YouTube customer. She is a YouTube subscriber and she sent her quilt to me all the way from New York. So I appreciate that Dana and I appreciate you trusting me with your work. I just wanted to show you what it looks like as I'm working on it and I will show it to you off the frame completely quilted but I just thought that I would share that story with you because everything does not go according to plan and it took me about five days total to get all of these quilt, uh, quilting stitches out it was a long time so let me show you the quilt now and then I'm going to show you the tension as well so I just wanted to show you the close-up of the quilting because we couldn't use the variegated thread, my client opted now to use teal color. So you can see it a little bit more here. And I don't know if you can tell, you really can't tell where I took the fabric pieces out. I mean the piecing out, not the, the quilting, not the piecing, the actual quilting out. So yes it is one beautiful quilt this is actually my customer's first quilt she did a millifori a all handwork project and you can see where certain areas where when you pull the papers out it's still a little lifted because it didn't get stitched down right there some areas they got caught and then some areas you can still see where it's you know where it was folded over but overall did a beautiful beautiful job I love her coloring she used mostly K facets and she also used K facet on the back and then here is a close-up of the quilting on the back so you can see the stitching the tension is really good here and 
we just had problems with using the heavier weight thread the backing just didn't like it we were I had a whole lot of tiny threads that and then they had like little loops hanging off the thread and I could not figure that out I talked with quite a few people got different opinions show people the backing fabric because I was concerned about it had some various opinions so just be careful of backing fabrics that you get they appear to be okay but then sometimes they will not quilt up with heavier weight thread so I'm gonna go ahead and continue I've got to now go ahead and roll this so I will see if this camera has any battery life if it does I'll go ahead and quilt and show you how I'm quilting this from the panto that's on the back so I'll also show you the panto on the back so I am actually using bountiful feathers and this is my end row where I mark everything that has been going on so far. I'm actually just finished quilting the third row. So let me mark that. And I have used two bobbins. I'm on my second bobbin. So, yes, very neat panto. Let me show it to you over here where you can see it all the way down the table. And I will see if I can record some for you. If not, I'll let you know on the next clip. out here but I wanted to come out and show you the end result and then I will show you some close-ups of the work also we do remember that this is my customers first quilt and also tips for new quilters when you are doing the millifori patterns make sure that on your outside edges that you do not stitch in the seam allowance because she stitched in the seam allowance on hers and I wasn't able to save her quarter inch seams, so she's going to actually lose her quarter inch seams when she puts the binding on the quilt. And I'm also not going to square up this top because I feel like it's not square. So I'm going to allow the customer to do that because when you pull out paper templates, you got to be really careful on the edges. And so this is just something for for a newbie but I think for a newbie I have not done a style of quilt like this and I want one and I think that this is just fantabulous so so happy for you Dana that you completed this quilt top and I'm just honored that you sent it to me so that I can quilt it for you and then I will zoom in so you can see some of the quilted areas I just love this quilt and I actually quilted this from the bottom up and I'm using my deck to um, use it to hang so that you can get the full effect of the quilt but I actually quilted from the bottom up of how it's hanging so we use this teal thread turned out beautifully it was even prettier with the variegated thread but we had to end up switching that out because it just would not work at all it was a problem 
so that will conclude this video thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to share my channel with your other quilting friends and i will see you all in my next video bye bye everybody Thank you.